What's up you guys, it's Hulch for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you a plugin called Twitch for After Effects CS5, so stay tuned. Okay, so when you first open After Effects, what you should do is go to this left panel right here. What you want to do is right click, click import, and then click file. Or if you don't want to do that, you could always go to this file button up here, do import, and then just do file from here. And I already have my footage selected, so I'm just going to click open. And once your footage is open, it should come to this little browser right here. So just click it and just drag it to the timeline. Okay, so once you do that, if you successfully downloaded Twitch to After Effects CS5, it should be under Effect, Video Copilot, and Twitch. And now that you've opened that, what you want to do is change the amount and change the speed of um, whatever behavior that you're going to do. So for the amount, I'm going to bring it down to like 30, 37. For the speed, I'm going to do like 40. I see that it really gets out of hand sometimes, so I'm not going to do a lot. And I'm going to do blur, color, and time. And even slide, because that's pretty cool. And just take out, I'm going to take out blur, because it gets annoying sometimes. And so now that you've done that, you can see that when you render it, and then you play it back, it does these really cool animations, like if you're in an earthquake or something. And it's great if you don't have that um, particular hand movement, and you want to do something for a scene, like a like a tornado or something. This comes in very handy, I notice. And so now that you've done that, you could always change the speed, um, just have it decrease a little bit. Because maybe you find out that, oh, it's doing too much of it. So maybe you could just do a little bit. And what's awesome about After Effects is that you can literally keyframe everything. So let's just say you want to keyframe this color right here. You can keyframe the color, the slide, the time, the amount and the speed so then when you go like uh, one one second in then you could change the amount to like 100 or something crazy like to that, like that change the speed and also you can go to behavior and you could change the ease in and ease out of anything that you want so now that you've done that with the keyframes you can see that as time progresses you can see that the craziness of the amount and speed of the of the um of the plugin with the time and slide, it gets uh, more dramatic as time moves on. And so this is really great. Um, I really use it all the time. I'm not just saying that. And also, before we end this, um, I just want to show you some operating controls. And basically, anything that you checked in in this checkbox right here is going to show up in your operator controls. And stuff that you didn't check off is going to be just grayed out. So you, as you can see, if I click blur, then this um, unshades. So I'm not going to I'm not going to include blur obviously. So, let's say you want to change something with the color and for colorize, let's say you want to change it to like a maybe like a aqua. Click okay. So now you can see that it gives it that really cool tint. And you know, I like that about the plugin because it's not just it's not just um specified for just generic. It gets really into the crevices so you can fill those up and just get a nice smooth um, really how you want a video and you could also change the color amounts how dramatic you want to make the effect you can see that it's really um, has that nice blue tone to it and you know some people may like that some people may not so that's why you have all these options because everybody's different of course and you could change the you can really change anything you can change the slight amount and you could just decrease it if you don't want to do a lot let's say I want to change the slight amount to just seven because you don't want to do that much you know it still looks like you know you're in a weird environment and as I said before you can keyframe all of these to increase the slight amount during a period of time and just you can increase anything I really love this program and I'll post a link down here to um, go to video go video sorry go to video copilot and go download this it's around a hundred bucks I believe and it's just really good I give it the thumbs up and I hope you guys will get it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. All right, thanks. Bye.